You don't see many leg techniques these days, said members of the prize-giving committee when assessing the offensive sumo of Ho Shou Ryu, adding, he is just so proactive with his techniques. Those two top rankers would have testified such in May. In July, many more wrestlers would follow suit, as the nephew of Asashoryu produced his strongest performance yet. Prior to putting on those 10 to 15 kilos, he'd had real trouble dealing with the upward hitting force of Ornoshaw in their bouts thus far. But certainly not on day one in July. Launching himself shoulder first off that well bent right knee, and resisting the urge to pull with a fine inside right maneuver, a clear mark of his increased weight and growing strength. Then, this day two bout with compatriot Kiribayama. showed that the Nagoya Heat had removed none of his sharpness on the belt, an exquisite shift of the left ankle enabling the throw. But on day three, against a nearly 36-year-old foe, his new confident body got more of a fight than it expected. Okinomi using his left arm superbly to counter at least three throwing attempts. Then smartly twisting sideways when Horshoryu tried to switch stance. A misfire and panicked pull from Chiyotairyu got the Mongolian back on track and a solid inside right outside left combination helped out muscle power lifter Miyogiryu. The fourth win from five, sealing his best ever start at top division level. His record was 0 and 2 against Chiyoshoma though. And after this thrilling match, it was 0-3, his lingering tendency to stoop again exploited. He was more prudent in the Tachiai on day 7. Prepared to concede Takara Fuji's favoured inside left, so long as he had the throwing angle for the highly praised leg trip. But any impressions of having mastered Aoyama over the winter were smashed on day 8, as his head and shoulders again veered forwards for a Bulgarian slapdown. Quick improvement was demanded against new Komusubi Wakatakakage, who led him 3-0. And Horshoryu responded with a gritty tachiai and rapid clamp of the right arm, the one Waka uses to block with such skill, then a highly aggressive throw of some 270 degrees. That was followed up with a lovely reversal and push out of Tobizaru on day 10, and a second straight crushdown of Ozeki Shodai on day 11 to bring up eight wins for July and guarantee a new personal best rank for September. Did the youngster therefore take his eye off the ball on day 12?
Or does his style just really suit Hidenoumi? More than game for flipping him with the outside left for a third straight win in their head-to-head. -head. And watched by brother Tobizadu at ringside. Horshoryu still had much to offer though, and on day 13 served up what I see as his tournament highlight against Ichinojo. Refusing to be bullied by the larger man throughout, Horshoryu did awesomely well to slide out of this throat hold and apply the final push, which earned him this rematch. And at the second time of asking, Horshoryu pulled off the earth-shattering throw, which made him top contender for the Technique Prize. The resultant fatigue may have affected Day 14, when he was simply blown away in his first taste of a Mitake Umi charge. But against yet harder charging Hokuto Fuji in the finale, He made amends, sensing his foe's feet to be far too parallel and acting as taught. I'm really happy to finish off with a win and yet happier to secure the technique prize, said the 22 year old, seen here joking with rival Kotonowaka. Fighting the top rankers in May was great for my learning. I've gained confidence with these 10 wins, but I still want to get physically bigger and I want to keep on hitting hard and attacking from down low. Horshoryu will indeed be facing every leading name in September. A tournament which entails his first bouts against Yokozuna. Although his professional progress has been slower than his uncle's, it is worth pointing out. It's still just over five years since he put on a Japanese sumo sash for the first time. Look at the steps he's made in those five years, and enjoy picturing those he might make in the next five.